All right, what is going on everybody? Today I'm here with another Pokemon Sword and Shield Isle of Armor VGC video and today I'm going to be using a Pokemon that I actually was not expecting to use today. I was planning on making a Scizor, but then I realized I had a shiny Zorua, which can then be uh, made legal in ranked and stuff with um, the battle ready mark and the battle tower, which they added with the Isle of Armor expansion. So now I'm using my shiny Zoroark, which I caught back in like Sun and Moon, so it's going to be lit. Also, Burning Jealousy is sick because if they, um, like say they use like Max uh, Airstream or whatever to boost their speed and then you hit him with the boom, Burning Jealousy, they're both burned. It's going to be sick. Also, it's a spread fire move that Zoroark gets and it's going to be really great when they see a spread fire move come out of their Urshifu or my Urshifu and... Yeah, it's going to be lit. So hopefully the team works out and I will be back when I get into the first battle. Alright, I'm back with the first battle and I don't really know what to make of their team. Uh, Shedinja. <laughs> Shedinja. It's a Shedinja. I don't really know what to expect from it, but I'm going to Night Daze it, I think. Uh, honestly, I see so much benefit in leading Zoroark here. I'm, I'm immune to Prankster from the two Prankster users. I am super effective on Shedinja so I can beat it. I can... Um, can Burning Jealousy Copperaja, like, the biggest issues, the biggest issue would be a U-turn from Flygon, but I don't really see that happening. So, I'm going to bring Zoroark, and I think I'm going to bring Talonflame on the options I can hit them with the dual wing beat on Whimsicott, so they don't, uh, get off the, because, like, the thing, okay, I've had comments about this, dual wing beat is good, because it can break Whimsicott's Sash and kill it in the same turn, without it being able to use Tailwind first, because I'm faster, and Gale Wings boosts the priority. So, it's lit. Uh, I want to disguise myself as Urshifu, I think. I feel like they're going to try and counter that. Or I could pretend to be Gastrodon so they can't use their Blastoise. <laughs> uh, I'm going to bring Luxray in the back. And I think Gastrodon is going to be my final Pokemon. I, I do want to bring Urshifu, but I think I'm going to bring Gastrodon. Alright, so I should be disguised as Gastrodon now. So if they lead Blastoise, that's going to really screw them over. Because they're going to be like, oh, shoot. Unless, unless they're really bad, and then they aim for the water move anyway. Or they predict the Zoroark, which is unlikely, because you, I feel like it's never safe to just assume Zoroark, right? Even though I do very obviously have it. Kaparaja and Grimmsnarl. That looks like a burning jealousy waiting to happen. Alright. So... Huh. I don't really need a Tailwind here, if I'm being honest. I am going to Burning Jealousy, because I want to see the animation. And they could start thunder waving. They could thunder wave Talonflame. I'm gonna flare blitz. Actually, I'm gonna dual wing beat. I think they could also fake out. Oh, if they, what if they just wait? What if I? Okay, I kind of want to double protect now because what if they start? What if they fake out Zoroark? Um. It says Zoroark for me, but I'm pretty sure it says Talon, or it says Gastron for them. I'm just going to go for the Burning Jealousy and the Flare Blitz one way or another, this Copperaja goes down. Or at least takes a lot of damage, so. They fake out. Okay, Talon Flame, that's fine. That's fine. Boom! Burning Jealousy from Gastrodon, let's go. That animation's lit! That's my first time seeing it. Um, so that did nothing at all. That's a Salt Fest. Ah, joke's on you! I am a Zoro- uh... Joke's on you! I am a Zoroark! Hello! I look so- I look so sick. That looks so sick. Um, I'm faster than both of you, and I can hit you with the... There's Salt Vest on the Copperaja. I'm gonna Night Days? No. I wanna, I wanna see the animation for Night Days. I'm going to... I could Burning Jealousy again, I guess, just to ensure that Talon Flames flare with chaos. Or I could dual wing beat the Grim Snarl with Alan Flame because I should do a decent chunk of damage with that. I want Copper Raja gone. I do. So I'm just going to double it. They withdraw Copper Raja. Makes sense. Makes sense. Blastoise. Ah, oh, so they know I'm not Gastron now. Whack. Well, they know I have it though. Reflect. That's fine. That is more than okay. Um, the follow next turn I can, uh, Night Days the Blastoise, which could lower its accuracy, which could actually be sick. They're probably G-Max Blastoise, which is concerning. Um, that's so sick! That's, oh, that looks so good! I thought I activated their weakness policy with their resisted move. <laughs> I was not ready. 
Um, I'm gonna Night Days Blastoise. If I can lower their accuracy, it could be good. Uh, I'm thinking they're gonna try and Shell Smash, so I kind of want a Tailwind. Or I could Dual Wing Beat. I'm gonna Dual Wing Beat, I think. I want to get as much damage as possible into the Blastoise. Although, if they Dynamax now, that's really bad for me. I mean, is it though? I mean, I I, just, I don't think Gripsnarl is a big threat right now. Because they're going to probably... Oh, they already died. They just checked into Mech straight up. I expected a Shell Smash or something, but I guess it wouldn't make much sense to Shell Smash so unreliably. Oh, they're G-Max too. That looks so sick. That looks so cool. The eyes are a little weird, but it, it looks so sick. Actually, no, okay, I, I, I kind of like the eyes, not gonna lie. If it's the, the Venusaur, the Charizard ones. They do go for the light screen, so I'm not gonna get to see Night Days' animation. <laughs> That's set for it. I should've aimed for the Grim Snarl in hindsight. I should've brought a Psychic Fangs user. I have- actually, I- I did, but I didn't bring one to this match. Because I brought a Moongus, I'm pretty sure. That's really good damage. That's really solid damage, and the accuracy did fall. Cannonade? I have never seen this before. No, I have. I, 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 oh, that's... Talonflame is gone. I should have so gone Gastrodon, dude. Oh, and Zoroark's dead, too. Yo, I threw the entire game just now for 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 no reason. I should have gone Gastrodon. That looks kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Alright. Well... Slight predicament. I didn't bring Luxray, did I? I did! Lit! I didn't think I did! Oh, it's time! It's time! Square up, you fool! Square up, fool. Okay, so I really want a Psychic Fangs. I really do. I'm gonna protect this turn. Oh, is it really worth that? I'll take so much damage. But I'm still faster than you. I'm gonna protect this turn, and I'm gonna... I'm gonna Earth Power the Gr Grip Snarl. I don't know if I'm gonna want a Wild Charge or Max Lightning, the Blastoise, or if I want a Psychic Fangs to break the screens. But they can't Water Move right now. Which probably leaves them, what, Ice? They probably don't have much other coverage, because Blastoise doesn't really get much coverage. That I know of, anyway. It's like, I think it only gets Ice and Water. Maybe in, like, normal. Maybe it gets Axe. Oh, it gets Aura Sphere. Oh, never mind. It gets Aura Sphere, Dragon Pulse, it gets all that stuff. I forgot about that. I forgot they gave Mega Blastoise all that stuff for, for Mega Launcher. And they also, in turn, nerfed all those moves. <laughs> Please be something weak to ground. Copperaja, thank you. Thank you for your service. Alright. I actually don't know why they went Copperaja. <laughs> Max Guard? I don't care about you. I don't care about you in the slightest. Use your Dynamax turns. I don't care. I'm pretty sure my Gastro... Oh, that did nothing. I think Gastrodon is faster than Copperaja. Hmm. So I get my Guts boost, and I think I want to just hit the Blastoise as hard as possible. I think I would KO. But I also kind of want to just Psychic Fangs. I could double the Copperaja and KO it, but Blastoise would probably... I don't know what it would do. Cause I, I, I understand... Actually, should I hit Blastoise? Like, Gastron's a huge problem for the Pokemon they have right now. Like, they... If they don't have a Grass move on their Whimsicott, and they don't have Whimsicott in the back, they lose to Gastrodon. Actually, that's not true in the slightest. In fact, I can't hit Shedinja at all. I cannot hit Shedinja. Actually, I can. Um, I could Ice Fang or Max Hailstorm. I'm gonna Psychic Fangs with Blastoise and Earth Power the Copperaja because it will break the screen and Earth Power should KO from there. That's such huge damage. And critical hit as well. That would make sense. Max Strike? Is that a Hyper Beam? That's Rapid Spin. <laughs> That's Rapid Spin. Why do you have Rapid Spin? <laughs> I guess it boosts your speed. Oh, and lowers m Oh, my... Rindo Berry. Okay. This is still gonna hurt. That speed drop... Oh, my God. That speed drop just changed this entire game. That just changed the entire game. Um, I'm not gonna get a chance to recover, am I? 
I'm probably not. I don't think I am. I'm gonna protect on the Grimstar I'll fake out. Actually, I'm not gonna have. Oh, oh, oh never mind. Gash runs me to that. I forgot about that. I have to unmax Luxray right now. Luxray has to get up, get big, and get strong right now. Like right the second. <laughs> I don't have a choice. Oh, please send out Shedinja right now. Oh no, it's a, it's a, it's an I don't know situation. I don't know if they have Shedinja. If they do, I want a Hailstorm. But I don't think they do. What if they did? I had Talonflame. And Zoroark, there's no way you brought a Shedinja. Do I really want to risk losing the Shedinja right now? I think a Hailstorm would KO Blastoise. They're probably going to reflect, actually. I'm going to... I can't risk protecting. I'll lose 20 HP. I'm going to max Lightning. The... Blastoise, and the Blastoise can't hit me. Uh, I'm going to recover. If I can get the recover off, it's really important. Because I'm slower than Grimstarl anyway. I think Luxray might be at this point as well, because of the Max Strike. That Max Strike is actually pretty huge. I should have Dynamax sooner, but I wanted to break the screens with the Psychic Fangs. Come on, Luxray, you can do it! Dude, the Zoroark was so- it was so cool though, they- they power whipped. I mean, I still almost died to it, but that's besides the point, right? <laughs> My Gastron actually took less damage because of the Rindo Berry. Protect? Okay, that's fine. I think I KO through that. I'm pretty sure I KO through that. They fake out. Gastron. Ah! That was- that crit so mattered! Oh, that hurts me! Oh, you hurt me! That KOs. Please send out a Shed Injure right now and allow me to live whatever hit it goes for. Because if I can max Hailstorm, no. I, I There's so much damage over time on top of me right now, I'm probably not going to win. I'm, I, I don't really know how to use... That, that, that's Cannonade still? Oh my god, that's, that has to be the last turn of it. I have a I have 80 HP. That's not terrible. Flygon. Oh, I'm slower than you. <sighs> oh, I'm slower than you. But what if you're not max speed? What if you're bulky flygon? Bulky flygon? Bulky flygon. Bulky flygon? Yeah, bulky flygon. I should have protected Gastrodon in hindsight. It would have been safer. But then Earthquake would have KO'd me anyway. Reflect. Um, I'm not faster, so I don't have a chance. If I Tailwind it earlier, that wouldn't have mattered. Earthquake, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so... Unfortunate. Um, I think what I did there was... Screwed up. I Okay, first of all, the max strike by them was so huge. That allowed them to Kaparaja hit my Gastrodon, which wouldn't have happened otherwise, because I would have been faster, I'm pretty sure. So... That was really good for them. The, the max strike from Blastoise was crazy. Anyway, I will be back when I get into the second okay, battle. Okay, I am back with the second battle, and this is very interesting. The They don't have any new Pokemon, but they do have a Rillaboom, which is very common right now. I also have a Bronzong, but not exactly. I guess it's sort of a Trick Room. It's a Trick Room team. It's just like, it's a really weird trick room team right there's none of the telltale signs like there's snorlax hattery and bronzong but there's no indeedy there's no dustlops like there's no conkelder wild okay okay i'm gonna lead zoroark amoongus i can't put them to sleep with their hattering zoroark I wish I had Sludge Bomber. I should get Sludge Bomber or Focus Blast. I never am going to use Zoroark against Sand. I'm going to use Urshifu. Zor Speaking of Urshifu, I think it could actually be pretty solid here because it's Snorlax. Um, my main concern right now is Hatterene. How can I hit Hatterene? I can't really hit Hatterene. Not super effectively anyway. Um, Urshifu might be the strongest option. But if it's Bronzong, then Talonflame is probably the best option. Oh my god. I'm gonna go Luxray or Shifu. 
did, and I, I did not have much of a choice there. I don't care. I was picking my moves pretty fast, or my Pokemon pretty fast there. I didn't even pay attention to the timer. Oh, I don't think they've completed the Isle of Armor. They don't own the Isle of Armor. Their trainer card isn't different. They don't have any Isle of Armor Pokemon. They don't have it. Never mind. <laughs> I was really hoping that would happen. <laughs> okay. Well, hello, bro. You have intimidated my Zoroark. Oh, Sludge Bomb would be glorious right now. Sludge Bomb would be glorious right now. I'm gonna double protect. I don't want to get faked out into Urshifu. But I don't want damage on Talonflame if I don't have to. Protect. And protect. A dual wing beat's gonna... I'm, I'm intimidated, I'm pretty sure. I think that's what happened. But, um... A dual wing beat's still gonna probably hurt or with the boom a decent amount. And Zoroark is faster, so. Fake out. Yup, they tried it. I'm trying to reveal my Zoroark over here. Double fake out. Imagine! That would have really sucked for me, huh? So, that turn got nothing done. I'm going to... I want to night daze this Rillaboom so badly. They're going to Grassy Glide me. I know they are. I'm going to Focus Blast the Incineroar. And I'm going to dual wing beat the... Or I could just Flare Blitz. Or I could Tailwind. I could just Flare I could I could just straight up Flare Blitz right now. Kill some max Airstream. Max Flare to boost Burning Jealousy. Or I can max Zoroark. I kind of want to max Zoroark, right? Oh! Is Zoroark faster? No, it's God, it's not. Not in a million years. I was going to max Knuckle. <laughs> Um, this is a scary turn. They don't get rock moves. They can't really hurt Talonflame very much. Focus Blast you, and I'm going to actually Tailwind. They cannot hurt Talonflame, and I want Tailwind up right now. I don't care if they're slower. I don't care. I am... Oh, it's over. That's great for me, actually. That's great for me right now. Tailwind. Alright. Hit him with a Focus Blast. Special Urshifu. Let's go. Oh, okay. Parting Shot? No! My Zoroark! My special attack! Well, they know I'm a Zoroark now. Unless they, for some reason, assume I'm running Special Urshifu. My phone's going off. What's Sarah be tweeting about? Next episode of Pokemon Twilight Wings will be released on July 3rd. Lit. Oh, it's Snorlax. They know I'm not an Urshifu. They know for a fact. Yeah, they know for a fact. They ain't dumb. They ain't dumb. They know exactly what's going on. Can I boost your stats? Am I able to make your stats go up? I'm gonna Night Days Hatterene, and I'm also going to. Is Dueling be stronger? It's base 80. No. Snorlax, I can deal with as long as they don't get Trick Room up. They did not die on a max? Okay. What is Night Day? Oh, that sucks. That's not that's not nearly enough damage. That's not nearly enough damage. Wild. This looks a little bit weird from Inertiafu. <laughs> Accuracy drop? Accuracy drop. Let's go. Is that 100%? It might be 100%. Belly drum? I threw. I thought I was going to be able to KO them. I I was 100 I should have Dynamaxed. I, I was convinced I was going to be able to knock them out. I just threw the entire game. Um, Zoroark is sashed, and I still have priority flying. No, I don't. I'm life orb. I'm not on the ground, so I don't get the recovery. I'm still sashed, and I can still focus boss the Snorlax, but I think it might be just too late for me in general. I'll try it, but I think it's too late for me. I'll try and dual wing beat. Actually, I'm going to flare. Why do I not just flare? Let's just, just do it. I'm trying to conserve to conserve Dynamax too much, because like I don't know what it does with the uh, Zoroark. I don't know if it Dynamaxes you as the Illusion Pokemon. Probably. I would imagine it does, but I, I just want to use Zoroark. I, I've never used Zoroark before, and I want to see how it functions in doubles. I don't think it functions very well in doubles. I think it's a much better singles Pokemon, but I want to try it. <laughs> I would like to try it. If they miss their Dazzling Gleam, that could be sick. A, a Mist Gleam would be great right now. Because I did lower their accuracy with Night Days. 
They did not miss their gleam. That did not happen at all. Oh no! My true form has been revealed! I am Zorwark! Master of Illusions! Hello. <laughs> uh, I don't know if Zorwark's the best, but it's certainly fun to use. I, I, I enjoy it. Oh, my Talon Flame! And they got the they got the berries back. Oh, that's so whack. Citrus? You're thick fat? Oh, you monster. You monster, they're thick fat. That's crazy. I have no way of stopping their trick room. Did I bring a Moongus? I think I did. Did I bring a Moongus? Uh, why didn't I bring a Moongus? They had trick room. Well, I was scared of the Hatterene. That's why I didn't bring it. I, didn't, I wanted to spore, but I couldn't spore the Hatterene, so I didn't bring a Moongus. Um, yeah. <laughs> I think my best play is to try and stall out their trick room and then sweep with Urshifu. That is my play. Welcome to Pokemon Sword and Shield, Isle of Armor DLC, where Urshifu is the best Pokemon in the game. Yeah, I'm just gonna double protect. You cannot make me do anything else. You cannot make me do anything else. Dude, Zoroark's shiny looks so good. I never realized the eyes were yellow. I never knew that. That's so sick. It's so cool. Replenish into probably Luxray? Yeah. Oh my god! I get that they're plus six and a Snorlax, but god dang. I thought I was going to take that so much better. <laughs> okay, that's fine. I don't have a chance here. I have no chance here. Tailwind is gone. That's great. Grass is gone. That's wonderful. But Trick Room has at least two more turns left. So maybe three. I think it's two, but it might be three. If it's three, it's over. Two. Um. This is their last turn of Dynamax, and Urshifu does not have Protect. <laughs> okay. Um. Gonna try and. Night Days' animation was not as cool as I was hoping, by the way. I mean, it was okay. It just... I guess coming from an Urshifu, it's less cool than it would be from a shiny Zoroark, so. I'll try and Night Days the Snorlax to lower their accuracy if I can. And what if I hit him with a quick freeze? What if I just freeze you if you just don't hit me somehow? Oh, you what did? Why did you do that? Why did you do that? Why did you do that, huh? If I protect an Urshifu right now, that'd be great. Steel Spike. Oh, what if I dodged that and then I got off a Burning Jealousy? Uh, okay. I should have just re-protected, just double protected twice. Um, that would have probably been a better play, since I was going to get hit regardless, but I was hoping for a Hattering miss, and them to... Like, I was hoping for a Hattering double miss, but they didn't miss at all. So, I don't think I have the best chance here. In fact, I probably have the worst chance that most people have probably had in this game. Um, yeah. I'm going to try and practice a little bit with Zoroark, maybe get a little... Fit find out some like, different strategies that can make it work. I want to use Zoroark very badly. I really do. So, what we'll to see. I'm going to max Knuckle the Snorlax, and it's probably not going to get off, but I don't care. I don't care. I'm a very bulky Pokemon, but maybe they'll, they'll you go for a high horsepower and miss or something. I don't know. Protect. Use Protect. That'd be great. Please Protect. Please Protect. Please do it. Alright. Here we are. Gigantamax Urshifu. <sighs> Let's see. Psychic. That's gonna hurt, but not too much. And facade. Body, body slam. Who is body slam over facade? What if he got burned? Okay. Well, tch. unlucky. Unlucky. Yeah, I gotta figure out Zora. I think Sludge Bomb is better than Focus Blast because I think that would have won me this battle because it would have been able to KO Hatterene. I'm pretty sure. So, that is something I'm going to have to probably switch. <laughs> but I'll figure it out. But for now, I am going to call it there because those were two very long battles. So, if you have any other better ways to use Zoroark, let me know in the comments because I really want to use it. So, it's going to be lit. But yeah, I'm going to call it there. Thank you all for watching. Comment, subscribe, like, all that stuff, and I'll see you all later. Bye.